So I was seeing this beautiful dress all over TikTok uh, back in December. So I thought, you know, let's buy it. See what happens. And um, this is what I received about a month later. Before we really get into it, I want to preface this with I did not know this was a knockoff before I purchased the dress. And I know what you're thinking, like, duh, how did you not know? I don't know, dude. Sometimes you just don't think about things. You just look at something and you don't think about it, um, which is exactly what I did. I just looked at something on Amazon. I said, huh, that could be interesting. I wonder what it'll look like when I get it. I was aware that it probably wouldn't look like the Amazon picture. Um, anyway, so if you're going to type something like, what did you expect? What were you thinking? Save your fucking time. Stop the video now. Don't leave the comment. You're not welcome here. Okay, now that that's said, we all know the dress is bad, but we're gonna try to fix it because that's what we do here. We fix stuff and we make things. First, we have to get rid of these awful pearls. They're not fooling anyone. They look plastic as fuck. And all the pearls are just attached with one little string, so all you have to do is use an X-Acto knife and cut the string on each pearl. Next, we're gonna take out these pads. Um, if they match your dress, then leave them in, but they don't match mine, so I'm taking them out. All you have to do is cut a small slit in the back and then stick your X-Acto knife in, and there's a bit of stitching in the middle part of the pad. Just cut that, and you should be able to pull it right out of the small hole that you made. And take the sash off, it's barely attached anyway. Um, next is going to be my solution for fixing the back. Uh, I'm a large chested lady and this dress did not fit me, obviously. So I'm going to take some bias tape and then just sew over the zipper. I'm going to fold the bias tape over the zipper and then sew the bias tape in place. This hides the zipper and it stops the zipper from going all the way to the tippy top. Next, I'm just gonna add in some grommets. I marked where I wanted to place them. I used three grommets on each side, and then I just cut a small hole in the fabric, pushed the front part of the grommet through, and then attached the back and used a hammer. There are a lot of helpful YouTube videos on how to attach grommets, so I would recommend checking those out. I got my grommets from Joann's and I got my ribbon from Joann's too. I really liked this uh, little like fix. I think you could do it on any dress if it doesn't zip all the way or if it doesn't fit you the same. It was pretty cheap. I think the bias tape was like $4 and the ribbon was $2 and the grommets were $5. It also requires very minimal sewing, so it was really easy in my opinion. Uh, the next thing that we need to do for the dress is lengthen the skirt. So I just went to the thrift store and picked up a long black dress. Any long black dress will do. Just make sure that it fits you. It can't be too big or too small or else you're going to have to take in the skirt. You could also make your own skirt or find just a skirt and not a dress at the thrift store. Um, I just couldn't find just a plain black long skirt, so I went with the dress. And I just cut the bottom part off, it doesn't have to be neat. And then I attached the top of the skirt to the bottom of the dress. You want to attach it to the bottom of the skirt because if you go any higher you'll mess with the zipper part. Um, and this you might have to play around with a little bit. I actually ended up attaching mine like wrong side to right side and that was not correct but it was fine because the tool usually will hide your mistakes. And then you just sew those two pieces together. Um, all you really need is straight lines for this. So like if you're not an advanced or strong sewer, you could definitely do this. It is not hard. Uh, next, the dress came with these boning channels. However, they did not have any boning in them. So I just used an X-Acto knife and I cut a very, very small slit at the bottom of the channel in the front. And then I just pushed some zip ties up into them. Make sure you cut them a little bit shorter so that you can sew the bottom of the channel back so they don't stick out. And now you have some structure. The last thing I did, which kind of worked, kind of didn't work, is I took a piece of elastic and made sure it was pretty tight around my shoulders. Not uncomfortably tight, but pretty tight. Um, and then I attached it to the front part of the sleeve and the back part of the sleeve. Um, and then I just made a little mark in the middle where I sewed the top part of the sleeve to it. So you don't have to sew the entire elastic in, you just sew the front part, the back part, and the top part. Um, this part is pretty optional just because like it helped the sleeve stay up, but it didn't like, it didn't do wonders. Like they still fell down. You still had to like pull them back up. It was just, they fell down less. So I guess this part is optional. It depends on how you want to wear the dress. I didn't think it looked bad off the shoulders, so do whatever you need to do. 
and this is how it turned out. I think that it turned out pretty well. I mean, considering what we started with. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Bye!